I get some work done on the M1000, I am going to be taking, no, not the M1000, the F3RR is going to be my first ride on an F3, or first ride on a MV Augusta, that is not the Brutale, because I've ridden this, I've ridden the Nürburgring, I haven't ridden the Super Veloce yet. If you guys want, let me know in the comments, and I'll do a review on the Super Veloce as well. I think it still looks pretty cool. It's They're pretty much the same thing, honestly, from what I've heard. Same engine, all that, just different fairings. This is more, you know, obviously, like, race bike. That's more cafe, cruiser type of ish combined with a race bike. But look at this one. Like, the carbon fiber, the vents the color I really like this F3RR like what cooling your brakes and everything Envy definitely does some nice work they just need to you know get that leader bike like imagine a 4RR looking something like this with the same dash as this bike because none of the F4s nice key too but yeah, I was saying, none of the F4s come with a nice display like this. They all come with, like, a super old display. Like, even the Super Veloce comes with a nice display. Look at that. This bike's not gonna sound crazy like the Nürburgring or any of that stuff. Because technically, it is stock. And it comes stock with the Acro. Is it in gear? Low fuel. We'll fuel you up. There you go, now we're neutral. Well, yeah, look at that Acro by MV Augusta. Obviously, it still has the cats and all that, but not bad for a stock exhaust, obviously. I think this exhaust looks way cooler. I feel like maybe they should have done something like that as an Acro on that. And then you can get like a decap for it or headers or something like that. But even with this one right here, like not bad. At least it comes with a nice acro that is branded that it's, you know, for MV. And I'm pretty sure this, I was going to say this looks like it has a baffle, but I don't see a bolt where you can take it off. So not very sure. But yeah, I already know I need to like mentally prepare because usually I just hop on a bike and expect it to like, you know, feel a certain way because I'm used to like all the like nice leader bikes, right? But this is not a leader bike. This is 800 cc's and it's pretty much like a V2. It has 150-ish horsepower. So I need to keep that in mind. Gee, those pegs are like sharp. <laughs> Another thing is that it's GP shift. Uh, or not GP shift. Which is not going to be fun. And I can't see much of the dash. It's really dusty. So give her a little wipe down with my shirt. There we go. Much better. First things first. We'll stop by. Nice kickstand. Okay. You guys heard me complain many, many times about switching from GP to regular shift. This is going to be no different. I'm still going to complain about that probably because I am going to be messing up the shifts. Whoa. Okay. Rear brake needs to be bled or whatever so it's almost not existent but that's not the bike's fault on race mode you have cruise control and lodge control aesthetically pleasing i'm happy with it the outside fairings i love them the inside could be worked on a little bit like kind of like the triple clamp could be a little more updated it looks a little old uh the levers are all right they are foldable levers so that is really, really cool. Uh, but I don't know. They just feel a little bulky. They don't feel like 
you know nice levers like some of the high-end levers or anything like that quick shifter is really smooth oh the bike is fast whoa there i did not expect that at all okay auto blooper feels amazing up and down shifting yeah quick shifter feels real good damn gas prices are up again uh you got the quick release wait buy mv I wonder if this comes stock or not because that would be sick if it came bikes came stock with that no i do not need a bike wash actually i do but we're not going to be doing that that'd be fun on a like really hot day just cruise in with a bike go to like one of these car washes that don't have just water and it just sprays you that'd be kind of painful probably so really it this must be a smaller tank because we the fuel light was on but it only took 2.7 gallons oh it's hot when it's hot it's hard to put the gloves on it's all sticky oh yeah another thing is that this as i guess it's a safety thing it doesn't start at all even if you're in neutral you have to pull in the clutch very interesting and those pegs are definitely gonna rip my jeans they're sharp and it keeps like snagging surprisingly it doesn't like feel like a smaller bike i mean technically it's equivalent to like a 750 you know it's not really a 600 it's slightly like a, a bigger bike bigger engine more power false neutral it's all good <laughs> it sounds very different from uh, the brutalities that uh, like leader bikes that they have it has a little bit of a like kind of grinding noise I'm not sure if I like that it reminds me of like when there's a tractor next to you and it's just like kind of stopped and you just hear that but all that will be fixed if you get an exhaust and it's loud enough oh that rolls and it's uh, loud enough for you to Okay. <laughs> oh, it still has the MV shift. Because the way these bikes shift is so nice and crisp. There we go. Now, I was trying to upshift or downshift by upshifting. Interesting. License plate holder. Bike sounds really good. Bike has a nice uh, tone. again it's okay it's a red light we'll just roll but yeah so far i'm honestly impressed it does not feel like a slower bike obviously like i haven't given it enough juice but it's torquey so it goes so it feels fast i feel like that's a good explanation between torque and horsepower because torque allows you to feel the speed more but horsepower you're like it's going and you're going really fast and you get to high speeds and you're like oh whoa how did i get there you know what i mean it's like a smooth gradual like high speeds but this bike feels torquey that's why I like and it's not like bad torquey you know what i mean it's like a good amount where i'm like this actually feels like very similar to like a leader bike but also i'm only been riding in like really lower speeds and 150 horsepower is really not that bad and I'm pretty sure this bike has to be a little bit lighter than some of the leader bikes because you know smaller engine smaller bike so pretty sure it's a bit lighter which also matters
It red lines way sooner than I expected. I have not checked the tire pressure or anything on that bike, so we're not going to be going, whoa, too crazy as I hit that bump and go flying. Oh, those shifts, man. The way this bike shifts is like a Formula car, literally. It's so nice. Obviously, it's a smaller bike. It feels nice. And man, they got the power. Like, I'm really surprised. This is a bone stock and V. And it's going. It's not like I'm like, oh yeah, like this feels really slow. I need more horsepower. Nah, it's gone. Obviously, we're in a like, much higher gear on this bike to reach certain speeds because, you know, different horsepower, but it feels stable, it's nimble, and honestly, the power really surprised me. I thought I'm going to get on, I'm going to be like, what is this, like, extremely slow bike? that's where you guys see that difference in power like you know like it still got to pretty high speeds and being completely honest we're not always riding in these like super high speeds so like this is honestly really fun for the street you know what I mean it's a little more engaging because you're you're shifting a little more often you know I like this I like it, as I was saying in the start, like my expectations, like I adjusted my expectations, but honestly, this exceeded my adjusted expectations because I thought it was going to be slower, I thought, I knew it was going to sound good because it's an MV, you know? And just the way they wind up is so nice. The only thing that doesn't sound nice is right now. Like that little, little tractor noise. It's cool because it's like such a small bike that you can like easily uh, throw around but at the same time it's still got a good amount of power. Oh my god I'm so obsessed with the shifts of it. a really well balanced like bike the power versus like how flickable and nimble it is the height of it is nice it feels shorter like I'm so comfortable on it you know what I mean like it's actually similar to like a naked bike because it's torquey it's shorter it's pretty easy to ride it's nimble it has the power but it also gives you that like super bike feel because essentially it's like a super sport you know so I don't know how they did it but honestly they did great with this one as friends ABS I was testing that I was like is it gonna do a little stoppy but it did not Still over revving a little bit. The clutch release is like very, very light. Not bad, not bad. Really impressed. I was actually a little thing that like I thought about and talked about a little bit, but I didn't tell you guys that I thought about getting one of these for the track because you know that's so different. 
and then I was like, nah, I need a leader bike because, you know, I need the extra horsepower and all that, which I probably still do, but honestly, like, I'm really enjoying the ride of this bike. I mean, keep in mind, like, I gotta keep reminding... Oh. Interesting. I was like, where did the sound go? I don't know what happened, but it just died. <laughs> it started right back up, so it's not like something's wrong with it. What a fun bike. I'm really enjoying this. Which is very surprising, because usually, unless it's a leader bike, I don't enjoy it. Like, I'm starting to enjoy some of the Nakeds because they're starting to have a lot of horsepower. Like a lot of the Naked bikes that are road are like 200 plus horsepower. So, you know, it's still got the power. It got even more torque and they're comfortable. So that's why I'm starting to enjoy the Nakeds. Uh, but this bike honestly is almost like that, I want to say. It's like that where it feels like, even though it has less power, it feels like it's a little bit more. And maybe that's why I like Super Sport so much, not just because of the looks, but because of the way it makes you feel, you know what I mean? Like, oh. Like, you don't have to worry about having too much power on this. It's like, I'm, I can hit it. And you know, the wheel is not gonna just like, go crazy up or I can like throw it around and it's easy because it's so like small and light I want you to look at that definitely caught me off guard I did not think I would like a 700 750 ish horsepower you know uh, super sport as much as I'm enjoying this I keep getting carried away because this bike does have power, you know, it's, it does go. You know, like obviously power-wise it doesn't compare, like the Fireblade does 130 in second gear, this like does that in probably like fourth or fifth gear, not probably like fourth gear. But like, do you really need all that horsepower? Like, you know, it comes back down to the, the ultimate question where it's like, you got too much power with leader bikes. Feels good, feels solid. You know, I didn't lean it too much because I never like tell anyone or recommend anyone to lean, uh, super sports or any bike in intersections or anything like that because you never know when there's gravel or anything like that like even in the canyons unless it's a canyon you've been through a few times i actually somehow made it back and i don't even know how like literally i don't know how because i'm really enjoying this and i want to go on a longer ride and these i'm doing it once again I was full pinning like first gear and the wheel didn't even come up not gonna lie it's kind of nice you know just being able to like just gun it and don't worry about anything i don't even know where i am right now honestly but all i know is that i am definitely enjoying this bike and having a lot of fun with it Man, this was a lot of fun. I didn't want to come back. Right. Yeah, actually, in the start, I was like, I'm probably not going to like this, you know, because it doesn't have enough power and all of that. But I rode it, and I'm like, it is fun. You got to make up your mind quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's definitely a lot of fun. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep it? <laughs> I, Buy it from you? If you like it, I would say do it. I don't know, it definitely like exceeded my expectations as always. MVs, there's something about them, I don't know. It's like super nimble, it's lower to the ground, it's smaller, but it has 
a little bit more torque than, than some of the leader bikes, so it feels like you're going fast. You know, like I'm on the throttle and I feel like I'm going fast. I look down, I'm like, oh, I'm not going that fast, but it feels like it, so it's kind of fun, you know what I mean? It's really nice, the nimbleness. Yeah, dude. Wait a bit. Did you see the clutch is a little weird where that's out all the way All the way up. Yeah, I was over revving off the lights. Yeah, he has to adjust that. Yeah, but I, I'm like, this bike is also blown stock. Imagine with like an exhaust and a tune, exhaust. it'll transform it. I mean, it has the Acro slip on, all you need is like yep. decad it, you know what I mean? Clear her up, we have the, the and then and the race and the race Bren himself. I'm pretty sure you can work your magic on these. Interesting. Like really interesting. Yeah. You gotta ride this too now to see this. This is the 800. This is the triple. Okay. Yeah, I'm a uh, I'm a fan of the sound. Bro, the sound. have you ridden it? No. Just ride it and shift. Yeah. The shifting of this feels like a formula car. Yeah. It sounds so nice. It doesn't go fast, but like, it just feels like you're going fast. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and honestly, it didn't do well. I topped it out at 180 sixth gear. So not bad for a bone stock bike. Yeah. But it definitely. 2022, brand new. It's their RR that it just came out with. I love the color too. That red with the carbon. A lot of bit of carbon, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like this will could look so clean. Yeah, literally, just remove that. This. I'm pretty sure you can get uh, engine covers in carbon too, right here. And bro, we need to hear this bike though. This mic needs to be unlocked because like it sounds good. You know what I mean? Well, um, we can play with it a little bit. Look at that front end. It looks sick. I like the headlight. Everything. It's so aggressive, like the vents and all of that. I love it. I wish they made this as an F4RR. Exactly the same, just with the extra horsepower. That's it. That's all they need to do. Tune it a little bit, and if you get rid of the cat and do it straight, I think yeah. probably another 20 horsepower, maybe 15. Yeah, definitely. I would say probably around like yeah, 10 to 15 to the wheel, obviously. Yep. So yeah, probably around a good amount of extra horsepower and torque out of this one. But it's fun as is. It's like definitely impressive to be honest. I didn't think it was like this fun. The mirrors even like don't look bad. Like MV really did a good job. Uh, I mean, trust me, I rode I rode enough right now. I, I don't even know how I ended up back. Seriously, I was going all around. Somehow I passed by, I'm like, oh. I'm back here and then I went around and I came back through here somehow I don't even know man I was just enjoying riding it like it's more my style you know what I mean like this over the the silver brutality that I had that I rode even though that one it feels faster it's, it's more power I would take this it just the way those sport bike make you feels it just I don't know I like it and he's gonna adjust the throttle and tune this a little more oh yeah this one when it's unlocked People are killing me in the comments. Everyone wants it. Like, it wants me to get it so bad. They're like, get a Nurburgring. 500 something. 500 something? You're almost there. It's 600, so I have another 50 miles. So yeah. Ride it the rest of the day, put some miles, then we take it a mile. Literally. Change. Literally. But yeah, this one and the Rush. I guess we'll do like a comparison video of this and the Rush okay. soon too. When this is broken in, the other one's broken in too. Well, the other one's broken in already. Yeah. So, that'll be nice. He's never seen this one only number six i mean number six of only 150 that's so rare he wrote it yeah it's i'm telling you like i have a lot of loud bikes nothing sound like this it's so unique and cool that's why i was like i want one of these to have like a full exhaust but yeah honestly i really enjoyed this it's fun dude like for this that's the thing with for the street i was saying like this you can actually like you know get on it on these really like fast leader bikes, you can't do much on the street. You know what I mean? There's just like overkill. You know? You're limited. You're a exactly. All right, the camera died, so I'm gonna just end this review of this here. It's amazing. Feels great. We'll maybe if we get an exhaust and all that stuff, we'll do it. All right, the camera died again, so I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be sound right safe. And uh, let me know if I need to do more MV videos. Bye.